Hmm. I'm very defensive of Jesus. Because he was a good man. He was a good man taken out by a government who thought of him as dangerous. His ideas were dangerous. His ideas were empowering people. People who were considered of low de denomination. People who were the undesirables. And I don't mean undesirables because they were bad people. Because just people didn't want to see them around. <sighs> Things haven't changed at all, have they? You still have people not wanting people around because it makes them uncomfortable, so we must get rid of them. Just like they did with Jesus. They're weird, they bring their own costumes, you know, they probably have a pact with the devil and, you know, they're pedophiles and all of that. I'm very defensive of Jesus because he's constantly being used as an excuse to abuse people. As if evoking the name of Jesus gives him some kind of a license to kill, license to steal, license to mistreat. Especially those of um, the LBGTQ community. I believe that Jesus would have been kind to people regardless if they were from the LBGTQ community or not. But especially with the people who were from the LBGTQ community because they're being oppressed. They have been oppressed for eons. So let's not kid ourselves. This is not has nothing to do with God, it has nothing to do with Jesus. Jesus never spoke against any of the sort, against homosexuality as they call it. Even the terms, even in the terms, it's just, they're fixed to give you the wrong idea. I just believe that Jesus would have never done that because he didn't... St he wasn't a guy who was going to stand up for hate, for owning a gun, for just blurting any stupid thing out of their mouth and saying, well, it's my right. I don't believe that Jesus would ever express himself in that way because he knew better. Because he would have done that, he would have just grabbed his R R15 and just sprayed everybody that was trying to punish him and cru crucify him. No, but what did he say? Forgive them, Father, for they do not know what they do. They do not know what they do. How would you treat an angel? How would you treat Jesus himself? I know that a lot of people wouldn't treat him right. And today's temperature, social temperature, no. He would be abused, he would be put down, he would be probably killed again. A lot of humans don't know a good thing when they have it. So they gotta lose it. But over time, my goodness gracious, every savior that comes around, this is Bobby Marley put it, you know, they kill, they're killing our prophets. But the same thing is repeating. Yeah, people wanted to eliminate people because these people make them uncomfortable. Uneasy. Threatened. So they're trying to make laws to make all these people basically become illegal, basically breakers of the law, so they can prosecute them like they did with Jesus. So they're trying to organize a government that would take down 
basically the same spirit of Jesus. When you think about all these people that just want to live in peace and just want to love one another, regardless, because again, there was only one commandment that he left. He never wrote a damn thing on the, on, on the, in the Bible. And he never spoke against anybody. But he did leave us one commandment. It was to love one another. And what's happening now is that all the people that want to love one another are being perturbed, are being interrupted, are being punished by people who don't want any of that. I always believe that everything and everybody is another face of God. So when you mistreat your brother or your sister, for whatever reason, think about what you're doing. How would you treat an angel? How would you treat Jesus? If we're, if we're all another face of God, then what are you doing? Think about it. Because you're blowing it.